Hello Retro Gamers and welcome to another episode of Sunday Quickie. In Sunday Quickie we find an awesome retro gaming subject or news item and we delve into it together with no script and lower than usual production values because what's a couple of production values between friends? Speaking of friends, I like this to be a very community based affair and I do love discussing these items with you in the comment section down below. Pretty good community have sprung up around these videos in the last couple of years and that's great. I, wanna, I want that to keep up. Today, we're checking out the first ever Dreamcast homebrew game to include online play. And I don't think I need to explain why that's a big deal. So I'm sure many of you know that you, it is possible to get the Dreamcast back online in the modern day using modern techniques. And a lot of homebrew servers have popped up around all the Dreamcast's favorites, Dreamcast favorites. But it goes without saying that having a game, a homebrew developed game in 2021 and 2022, I should say 2022 and 2023 actually, that's time, it's a thing. That's a big deal. So let's have a look at the other monitor. This is my source, Retro RGB, which I'm a fan of. There is a great podcast released every week by Bob from Retro RGB. I'm a full on Retro RGB shill. I will shill it to the end of the earth. But here we go, Dreamcast's first online homebrew game, Driving Strikers. And this article is written by Saturn Dave. So we can thank a guy named, where is my document? Luke Benstein, Ben Steed, my apologies. Luke Ben Steed, who is also known online as Kazade, Kazade. I'm so sorry, Luke. <laughs> but he runs a uh, homebrew developer called Reality Jump. So you may be wondering what it is. Well, since it's online based, it's, it's Basically, you're, you're a little car inside of a little soccer field or football field, depending on where you come from and what you'll argue that it should be called. And it's kind of like Rocket League, as said in this article. The comparisons to Rocket, to Rocket League are hard to avoid, which is, yeah, as we say in the construction industry here in Australia, it is what it is, but that's what it is. So there is a... I'll link everything that every web page I show here will be linked down below, including download links. Um, the reason this is a news item is because it's coming out, but there's also a demo that's been released. So I guess I should mention that, but this is a very interesting read. There is a bit of a mini interview here with Luke, and there's also a great interview on the uh, Dreamcast Junkyard, which is also a great source of uh, inf like new information and existing information on the Dreamcast. This one here is a little bit more technical, talks about how he made it possible, um, the game engine he created and used. It's good stuff, highly recommend checking it out. So let's check out the trailer while I talk. So I'm just gonna turn my speaker off so there's no feedback. Uh, we'll probably just skip forward a little bit here. I recommend checking this out for yourself. There's a specific bit here, yeah. So as we can see, there is multiple different arenas. And it's gonna show a few different arenas now, which are well worth looking at. I will show you some footage of my own in a moment. Um, and there were issues with that, but I will get into that shortly. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So like obviously the big news is that it's releasing on Dreamcast, but it will also be releasing on Windows, Linux, and even the Raspberry Pi. And even better, in this tweet, which is for Driving Strikers, he mentions cross play between Windows and Dreamcast. How cool does that sound? That must be an engineering feat. Like, I, I can't even comprehend how you would do such a thing. That is awesome. So there is a full release slated for early 2023. So here is the demo. And as we can see, it pretty much says, mentions mostly what I talked about. Here you can support them financially if you wish. Otherwise, if you can't do that, get the word out. It is a free download otherwise. Paying with exposure, I guess that's a bit of a meme, but if it's all you can do, it's better than nothing. So I did download this demo disc. It's a CDI, so you can just burn it and your Dreamcast should just play it. You shouldn't need to use the, the Utopia boot disc or any, anything like that. But it's here where I need to get into the elephant into the room. And that fact is that my Dreamcast isn't actually online as much as I want it to. So I'll get into that towards the end, like I talked about the methods, because it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I will show you some footage of what I can look at, but be prepared it isn't much. 
However, I did get a chance to play this myself and I'll explain that in a second. But back to the online demo that has just released. Basically, we get access to a menu. There's a couple of options there that you can do like a direct IP or you can just go straight onto the server. But obviously, uh, when I select, because my Dreamcast isn't hooked to the internet yet, it dials it and it fails. I was hoping there would be maybe some like mode you could play, like a practice mode against bots or at the very least getting thrown into an empty arena. I don't know, but that's not the case, unfortunately. So if your Dreamcast isn't connected to the internet like mine, this is as much as you're gonna see. There is some credits you can check out. So Luke Bensteed is the main, main mastermind behind this, but a couple of other Fellas did uh, help him out with the graphics and music. So in the credits, it does list that. There is also a options menu. And when I select that, the whole thing freezes. So not really sure what the deal with that is, but that's all you can see. The only other thing worth mentioning is that there is a an icon that appears on the VMU as, as you play. Here is a photo of that now. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Not really much to say. No animation or anything like that, but you know, you gotta have something display on your VMU screen. I, it would be sacrilege not to, right? So with that out of the way, I can show you what I did play. So we'll go, I'm gonna go back a year to late 2021. And we have Driving Strikers Holiday Edition. So yeah, they talk about it being released in 2022. Didn't quite meet, didn't quite get to that launch window, but that's okay. But from what I've read, he's the development team are very close at Reality Jump. An, an early 2023 release is looking very likable. But in this edition, you can actually play. So there's no online mode in this just yet, but you can play against bots or you can play up to four other people if you can find them. I don't even have four controllers, let alone no four people, but it is what it is. I guess that's my catchphrase for today. Anyway, um, yeah, so... It was cool that I got to play it, but I did some research into this, read through some Twitter threads. It, it should be noted that supposedly, from what I understand, the gameplay here is very untweaked compared to the modern release that came out last week or the week before. So it works, it's fun, but the controls are very fiddly. But I don't, it's a little bit probably me because you're from this top down view, and no matter what no matter what way your vehicle is facing, it's up to go up, down to go down, left to go left, right to go right, and there's reverse and all that, which you think would be pretty straightforward. But if I'm if I'm on the screen going right, it's just in my nature to push right on the thumbstick to then go down and left to go up, and the complete reverse the other way. So not sure if that's changed in the new version. As I said, I wish I could play and let you know, but that's just my bit of critique. But I shouldn't really critique it because like I said, it is a year old. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So what's next on my little Word document here? So controls are fiddly, this has been fixed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, back to the Dreamcast and getting it online. So like I said, I've been very keen to get my Dreamcast online for many years. It's a project that's just been fumbling around in the back of my mind, but I keep getting distracted by other things like this bloody thing. Gonna finish it this weekend, I promise. Even though I've been saying that for like three weekends in a row, but I've got a good feeling this weekend is the weekend. Anyway, I've got this massive list of video ideas and I'm pretty sure getting the Dreamcast online is right at the top. So there is a couple of ways you can get your Dreamcast online. One, you can use the built-in uh, 56k modem that's built into the Dreamcast, but you do need a phone line for that to happen. I haven't had access to a phone line since I moved out of my parents' house. I've lived in a couple of different places and I've just never needed to have a phone line. I've got a fiber internet connection in one of these things. So a phone line is out of the question for me. The next option is the official broadband adapter, but this is unobtainium. You can't find these for a good price at all. It's just out of the question, unless you're incredibly lucky and also incredibly rich, of which I am neither. So the third option, and what basically everyone on the internet seems to consider to be the best option, is a, a, a project called DreamPi. So basically, you've probably guessed it in the name if you're not already familiar with it, it uses a Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi connects to your modern internet connection, and then a USB modem plugs into that, and then 
what is called a coupler. Sorry, I got distracted there. I could hear a groaning sound. It was just a motorbike going past. Um, an inline coupler or something like that. Still have to do a bit more research. That then plugs into the 56K modem on your Dreamcast. So, fun little connection here with these stories, which shouldn't be surprising considering the development that's gone into it. But Luke Bensteed, aka Kazade, he actually seems to be the mastermind behind the Dream, Dream, Dream Pie project. This is his blog. <laughs> And it has instructions on how to do it. So what was that thing I was trying to say before? A line voltage inducer. So you need the modem, you need the Raspberry Pi, and you need to build a line voltage inducer. And you can um, build one of those yourself by the looks of it. So again, I'm going to do a bit of research into this, but it looks pretty easy. It looks like there's just a capacitor, a resistor, and then a the cable itself, plus some 9-volt battery holders. Apparently... For me, in power land, you need 18 volts. In the States, apparently, it's 9 volts, and you just use a couple of A or a couple of 9 volt batteries. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I will be doing that. And when I first heard of this story late last week, the idea was to finally get off my ass and actually get my Dreamcast online, have it ready in time for this. But unfortunately, getting the USB modems are, I don't know, that's. A lot of this information is from about four or five years ago, and you can still get the modems, but I wanted to get the exact one used in the tutorials, because I didn't want because they're not that cheap. I mean, I found some newer versions that I could source locally, but they're over at $50. So I managed to find this one in China, which I'm pretty sure is the right one, but it has an estimated delivery of something like 1st of January. So maybe that'll be the first video of next year. Who knows? But I didn't want to wait till then to talk about this. As I said, Sunday Quickie is a bit more of a casual thing. We talk about the news, so I can. Sh I was able to show you some footage, that's good, but if your Dreamcast is online, definitely download this yourself and try it. There is a trailer, there is information to read. As I said, all links will be found in the description, but that is it for today. This has definitely rekindled my interest in getting my Dreamcast online, so I'm gonna thank the project for that specifically, but otherwise, that's it. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video.